Hi guys, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Today is Mandala Tuesday. And we got the Cool Kids Club all making the blankets. Don't worry, you're still a cool kid if you're not making a blanket too. I just wanted to be silly when I said that. So um, <clears throat> last week I did rows one through 13. I've been taking notes of what I've been doing just to make sure. And this week I did completed rows 14 through 23. So it's starting to come along. It's starting to be a little bit slower going around because it's getting bigger and bigger. But um, I am following the, the colors on the pattern the way it's suggested. They suggest you choose seven colors. So I chose my seven colors and then you label those colors A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then in the pattern, it will say with color A, do this row, with color G, do this row. And they're not always in order, so it's not always A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it might be A, it might be F. But um, <coughs> I know a lot of people who are doing this, excuse me, um, they're choosing their colors just the way that they want to. A lot of them have done this blanket before and they've done it with the color suggestions. Um, so they were, they wanted to experiment with, you know, picking whatever color they wanted to do next. And those look amazing too. Uh, I, I, this is my first time to make the mandala blanket. And so I decided I wanted to follow it. You know, I picked my seven colors. They didn't pick the colors for me. I picked the colors, but I'm going to do it in the order that they suggest to do them in the pattern. So I thought I would show you how it looks so far. It's going to be a little bit harder to show now that it's getting bigger. But I'm pretty happy. A lot of people have said it's like either nautical or Americana. Um, yeah, I, I can agree with that. I am happy with how the colors are turning out, how it's starting to look. I know like some of the people were kind of complaining about this row being saggy and I'm not really sure now the the way that I'm doing it is I'm not following the videos I'm following the written pattern because I do most of my crocheting when our family is is sitting together and watching tv and so I can't have that video going so I've just been looking at the directions the directions say to slip stitch in the front loop only in this row. And when I did that, it ended up being really flat. There was nothing really that was droopy about it. And then the next row goes in the back loop behind the stitch, the slip stitch row. So I don't know if they're doing it. I, I've just been a little bit confused. I don't know if they do something different in the videos other than a slip stitch. Um, but thankfully because i you know i, I kind of like the way that it looks here standing out but yeah here's how mine turned out i know there's a lot of stations joining in and if i'm missing some please let me know i am let me check my notes here to make sure i have everybody of course um Llama Mama Kayla is doing her purple one. It's beautiful. I just saw how your yours is coming along, uh, Kayla, and it's so pretty, so, so pretty. I love the purple. Um, we have Nova, Gnome Creations, and Nova's got some really nice fall colors. And I've said this before, but I'm so jealous of the mustard yellow she has. I, you know, I just think that is really gorgeous, especially with the other colors that she chose. They really blend together nicely. <clears throat> Terry Mares, uh is also doing it. I didn't see one yet for this week. I don't know if it just didn't pop up yet, but uh, last week she had quite a bit of it done and it is stunning, so pretty. Um, Jenna Stitches is joining in. And hers is also gorgeous. You have to go and check hers out. Go and visit her. I have um, her YouTube channel in my link in my description. Uh, and also J Hook Magic. 
those are the ones that I have as part of the Mandala Cool Kids Club. The rest of you are still in the Cool Kids Club. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not exclusive. I just felt like saying that. I'm going to pop in uh, pictures of, of blankets that I've been sent. I have a picture from pictures from Susan Ernst. She, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, she, Susan is doing two blankets, very ambitious, and they're both gorgeous. Wait till you see the pictures. So if any of you would like to join in the Mandala Cool Kids, it's not too late. You can um, start it up. I have the pattern and the video link to the pattern in the description. Uh, so you can check that out. And we're not racing through this and no one says you have to do a certain number of stitches per week. We're just doing what we can throughout the week and then showing what we have done, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on Tuesdays, just doing Tuesday updates. So some of us are gonna finish before other ones and that's okay. It's not a race, we're really just doing it for the enjoyment. And then at the very end, we get a beautiful blanket out of it. So uh, feel free to start one up if you would like. If you're working on one and you want to send in pictures, I'd be happy to show them. Uh, if you are working on it and you're showing it on your YouTube channel, let me know and I'll, I'll uh, add you into the club, <laughs> the Mandala Cool Kids. Um, so I hope you all are having a good week and let me know how your week's going, what you're working on, and how's the weather where you are. As you can see from my frizzy, frizzy hair that still sticky <laughs> but my hair does whatever it wants so what can you do <laughs> have a good night Bye.